Hello dudes and dudettes, hopefully this is the final time I make this video, otherwise I'm going to scream my head off. <laughs> Who knew that an Irish guy couldn't figure out Irish names? Alright, this movie's called The Boondock Saints. Almost never got made. Uh, the Boondocks Saints, not the, not the Boondocks with the black kids and the racist humor. No, no, no. Boondock Saints is about two Irish brothers, twins actually. Uh, Connor and Murphy McManus, and how they started their vigilanteism. The first movie was about anyway. Um, let's see. It stars Sean Patrick Finnery and Norman Reedus. Originally, the plan was to have uh, Stephen. Not going to be able to pronounce his last name. I've tried several times already. In several different videos. But he is Deacon Frost. And for those of y'all who don't know who Deacon Frost is. That's the protagonist. Antagonist. Not protagonist. Antagonist. From Blade. With Wesley Snipes. He's the one that made uh, Wesley Snipes what he was. Alright. And uh, Mark Wahlberg. Thank God that didn't happen. Not saying they're bad actors. Just saying. Having seen the movie from how i seen it. It lets me know that. They were the better actors. Uh, William Defoe's character was also going to be either Patrick Swayze, Brendan Fraser, or Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, let that sink in a little bit. This movie didn't make any money in the movie theaters. It was only out for seven days, and then the Columbine Massacre happened, and they pulled all kinds of movies like that. Thanks to Blockbuster. That's right, folks. Blockbuster. The movie made $50 million. Then the writer-director, Tori Duffy, had to sue to get money for him and his crew. Politic shit, I'm not getting into it. But anyway, the storyline goes, these kids, these two twins, moved from Ireland, speak at least seven languages, at least seven. <laughs> um, we're at a bar and the Russian mob was buying up property and they tried to strong arm this guy for protection money well the McManus brothers wasn't having it so they fought him in the bar I mean typical Irish way right get drunk get in a fight <laughs> well flash forward to the next day the Russian mob people are pissed and try to kill both of them. Well, in spectacular fashion, they kill the mobsters. No guns were involved. Well, the mobsters had guns, but they didn't have guns. And they were and they killed took out three people. No problem. No problem at all. Well, they get held in a holding cell overnight because the um, the news media is running rampant because somebody leaked it to the press. William Defoe plays a FBI agent that's part of the Mafia Task Force, Gangland Task Force, however you want to word that. Um, and lets them stay overnight. During that night, their spiritual purpose awakens. We'll say it like that. Um, so they go and kill the entire Russian mob that's in Boston. The entire Russian mob. Uh, they have a friend named Rocco. Ironically enough, the actor's name is David Del Rocco. And the character's name is David the Funny Man Rocco. That's right. He didn't care. His name was his name. Um, but anyway, they have cool, these, uh, they started their vigilanteism. And every time before they ice somebody, they would say this prayer. For we are, sh shepherds are we, 
for thee, my Lord, for thee. Power has descended forth from my right hand to swiftly carry out thy command. And team so we shall flow a, fl oh, a river forth to thee, and teeming with souls shall it ever be. Nomine pace de fili, ne spiritu santi. That's right. It's a badass prayer to say before you kill somebody, right? They also have um, Latin names written on their hands. <coughs> Latin words, not names. Uh, veritas, which means truth. And aquitus? I think it's Aquitus. I, I've, I've looked at pronunciations. They don't help me, folks. I do apologize if I'm butchering it, but it's Latin. It's a dead language. Who gives a fuck? Aquitus, which means equality or justice. I'm thinking justice, but it, it's, it can mean a double meaning. It's a great movie, guys. Oh, my God. You've got... Billy Connolly, for those of y'all who don't know who Billy Connolly is, uh, he was in The Last Samurai as that Irish fellow that was helping out Tom Cruise to make it a better movie. Um, he was, I mean, the guy's great. He's a comedian, but he's also, he's a sir. Sir Billy Connolly, I'm almost positive he's a sir. <laughs> well... So they make this movie. Or the movie. <laughs> it took a long time to make the movie too. But. Uh, then they decide to take out the Italian mob. Which for those of y'all who don't know. Apparently runs rampant in Boston. I would think the Irish mob. Getting off topic. Uh, anyway. They start to kill off Irish mob members. And then. Papa Yacovetti pulls this guy out of prison. Billy Connolly's character, El Dolce, which means the Duke, by the way. Uh, I'll reveal his real name here in, towards the end of this video. But he hires El Duce to take out the McManus brothers. Uh, Rocco joins the fray, too, because, I mean, why not? guy's hilarious i killed your cat you druggy bitch that's great um long story short papa yakovetti kills rocco they made a sequel to this movie and rocco was still in it but he wasn't a living character he was like a dream sequence so they're praying over their dead friend and then El Duce comes in and hears him saying the prayer. Puts the guns away. Come to find out, El Duce is none other than their father. So you've got Connor and Murphy McManus and Noah McManus. That is Billy Connolly's character's name. They call him El Duce. They don't really bring up the fact of what his real name is until the sequel. Which is, we'll do another video about the sequel if y'all want to. If y'all are interested. Um, it's a great movie. Oh my god. So fantastic. Alright. This, this video has been a little scatterbrained. But this is also the 17th time I've tried to record. There have been bees. There have been squirrels. There have been people showing up. <laughs> And there have been the shittiest pronunciations of William Dafoe. It's Dafo, by the way, not Duffo. It's Dafo. He said it himself. There's a clip if y'all want to look for that. It's William Dafo. <coughs> uh, for those of y'all who don't know, William Dafo is the Green Goblin. And also probably responsible for the most iconic death scene I have ever seen in my life. Platoon. With Charlie Sheen, Emilio Estevez, and William Dafoe. He gets littered up with bullets. It's great. Um, that's about it for this. I don't want to give too much away because part of the reason why I do the cutting room floor and do the scatterbrained description of videos is because if something sounds interesting to you, I want y'all to watch the movie. 
That's what my goal is. That's what my true goal is. The McManus brothers' goal was to rid the world of evil. My goal is to make sure that everybody, everywhere, watches movies. Because movies are our... I almost said movies were our books. No, you know what? Movies are like our books. They didn't have movies back in the day. They had plays. And our movies are like our plays. And I have watched hundreds of thousands, if not millions of plays my whole life. That was my babysitter. Were movies and TV. Might do a video of a TV series. I doubt it because I really enjoy movies more than TV series. Because TV series ends. Movies have an ending. But uh, again, this is Big Cut and Cutting Room 4. Stay frosty. <laughs>